So good morning, everyone. So this morning, I am going to attempt to bring these pair of Alden uh, Show Cordovan Chuka Boot Chuka Boot back to uh, back to life. The membrane on this thing is in really good condition still. Uh, they are they are in uh, intact, great great condition really. Um, I just need to soften them up a little bit. Uh, Give it some natural oil and uh, see if I can polish them up. And then uh, afterwards, I will take it to a cobbler to see if you can give me, do some work for me on the bottom here, on the bottom, the outsole. Um, so as you can see there, these are Aldens, nine and a half. Um, they run a little big. I wear a 10. So these, uh, at the, the last runs a little big, so I bought them a, size, a half a size smaller. But with that, let me, let me share with you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some saddle soap to clean it up first. As you can see, there's some minor scratches and a little bit of staining on it. I'm um, going to use some saddle soap, um, spray bottle of water and saddle soap, and then a t-shirt, an old t-shirt to, uh, to wipe off the soap. After that, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Um, maybe a lotion. Um, I don't use expensive lotion because reality is you really don't know what you really don't know what's in these lotions that you're purchasing, um, or this cream. Uh, this is uh, just this is just normal skin cream. Um, you know, if it's safe enough to go on my skin and my face, it's safe enough to go on a pair of boots. I can tell you that. So, anyways, um, and then uh, after the uh, saddle soap is clean and dry, then I'm gonna put the lotion or the cream on. Most likely, I'm gonna use the cream. Uh, instead of the lotion and then after it dries I'll buff it out with a uh, horsehair brush um, and then I am going to use a coat of leather conditioner again these are very inexpensive product uh, this does have a little bit of wax in it uh, to keep to give the Cordovan a small a light bit of uh, protection but it really doesn't need, uh, these things are bulletproof. The Shirokotovans are bulletproof, really. And it uh, doesn't need much uh, protection, but, it, and then if it doesn't get the shine that I need after I brush it for about half an hour, then I may use some shoe polish on it to get a little, to get it a little shinier. So with that, let me get started. All right, so let me see here. I'm gonna put the uh, shoe tree in. Take off the the high lace. I don't know. I might put a different lace on there. You know, I do like uh, the softer lace, uh, like in these chuka right here. I like the softer lace, um, and I prefer not the lace at all in these uh, Allen Edmonds uh, chuka boots with. Um, with the brass buckles. But anyways, that's that's that. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All right. I'm going to spread down my uh spread down my shoes, my boot. And spread down my spread down my uh saddle soap. Dab it up with an old brush. You can see fine hairs in it, but it'll come off. And then I start cleaning. It's pretty easy. I already brushed the uh, excess uh, dust and sand or what have you. And then when I get it back from the cobbler, when I get it back from the cobbler, I'll do uh, put another coat of uh, another coat of uh, cream on it or uh, conditioner on it, and it should be good for another year. Probably probably best if I I do a lotion or a cream once every six months. Make sure you keep it clean. After you wear it, let it dry out. Don't wear it every day. Okay. So that's that on that pair. 
on that shoe, I should say, not a pair. Okay. I'll soften the t-shirt up. I'll do this real fast. I know it's kind of boring watching a guy clean a pair of shoes, but... So you can see some of the dirt off of there. All right, as you can see, it's just a little bit cleaner. The difference already in just, now this is moist too, so you, it's gonna get a darker color, but once it dries, it'll doll up like this. Um, with that, let me clean the other side, let it dry, and then uh, I'll come back with the um, with the cream, and then I'll buff it out, and then I'll use the leather conditioner on it, buff it out, take it to my cobbler, and I'll, then after that I'll be back in about a week to finish it up. So with that I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I uh, I use uh, saddle soap. Um, and a brush uh, and then I wiped it down I got quite a bit of stuff off of it so this would look like after uh, I use saddle soap on it twice so now I'm waiting for it to dry um, got a ceiling fan on it's gonna gently dry for I don't know another half an hour or so and then I am just gonna go ahead and go with the with the skin cream um, and then after that, like I said, leather conditioner. And then to the shoe cobbler. All right, I'm not sure what kind of sole I'm going to use. Um, maybe some day nights or back to the leather sole. I think I'm going to go with the rubber sole versus the leather sole um, on these. My uh, Allen Edmund Dalton have a leather sole, and I do like that. And then my rider boots has a rubber sole, which is so great um, for hiking. And uh, I just want to be comfortable, so more comfortable. So I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put a rubber sole on this thing. I'm going to get a decent, halfway decent shine on this. And uh, I'll be back. All right, so here comes the cream. All right, I'm going to do this boot first, and then we'll compare the... Uh, We'll compare the two boot. Yeah, some of you guys are gonna say that's a lot of cream. That's all right. It'll take what it takes, and then whatever it doesn't take, I'll brush off. And then if it takes more, I might put two layer on this thing. It is absorbing. Pretty quick. Yeah, there's some folks out there that use the uh, the expensive French cream and stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna use. Uh, I'm not gonna use their names and make comments like you know, it's produce a better sh shine, etc. And you know. You're gonna go to a job interview, you want a shiny pair, a glass like pair of shoe or boot. Well, I used to be a hiring authority, and I don't hire people based on the way how well they can shine a pair of boots. And if they, uh, if folks depend on a shiny pair of boots to get a job, they need to hone on the, the value skilled, other value skilled. But anyway, I'm not bashing on anyone. I'm just just a philosophy there. All right. So uh, plus this stuff smells really good. All right. So I got a decent coat of cream. This thing is here on this side. It's not absorbing as fast as on the other side. All right. And then a few minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna buff this out. 
with a brush and uh, I might just use a towel to wipe off the excess but the brush will get it into uh, into areas where you can get where I couldn't get in it with my hands sorry if I took this off camera you know all right so that's that all right, wipe, the, wipe my hands off. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a brush and hit it, just in case I didn't get it where it needs to go. Let it dry, buff it out again, and then I'm gonna put a leather conditioner on it. I know it's shell cordovan and it's not leather. That smells so good. All right, so that's the coat of on. It's a little bit better. Not much. At least I know there's moisturizer and oil. And uh, what's in here? Seed oil. Um, it's jojoba seed oil. And it's got a little bit of vitamin E. And they say that vitamin E is good for your skin. I'm not sure if that's true, and I don't know who they are. Actually, this looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this makes it look really cool. It's really nice, smooth. All right, so I may, uh, what I may do is I may put a little bit of extra cream, and then I'm gonna see if I can get the crease out. Uh, I don't have a deer bone. I used to have deer bones, but I just threw it out because we have a lot of deers in the backyard. And I, made, I made my own deer bone versus uh, buying it, um, but. Um, um, I'm going to use a spoon, right? So with that, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just went and got a spoon, a big tablespoon. You can see me in there. And uh, my dirty old black T-shirts and uh, my ceiling fan. But anyways, um, I'm going to put lotion. I'm going to actually lotion up, uh, I mean, cream up this uh, this boot. And then I'll come back. I'll put a little bit of lotion on the uh, back of the spoon. And then I'm going to see if I can remove... Um, the uh, the full, not the wrinkles, but the wrinkles, not the crack, not the crease. All right, so be right back. All right, so I put uh, I just put lotion on this and uh, wiped the excess off and brush it off with the uh, with the brush. So now I'm going to try to uh, see if I can take some of these um, wrinkles out. It's not too bad on this side. I'm just going to try this one. Just add a little bit of lotion, cream. Cream. I'll say lotion, but it's actually a cream. And we'll put a little bit over here, a bit there. All right. All right. See what I can do here. All right. So I have a hard shoe tree in there. I have to rub it pretty hard. All right. You gotta be real careful with the edge, so you don't cut into your your membrane, the membrane of the shoe, the horse membrane. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have a last. It'd be great if I had a, a last that these things were built on. Look at that. That turned out nice. I'm hoping it worked. On these? Yeah, it's not working too well. Just a tiny little crease there. Might take a little longer, but I'm not gonna keep you guys on on uh, video while I'm doing this. 
So I'll do what I can do, and then I'll show you the fin the next step, not the finished product. I'll show you the step before I take it to the cobbler, and then I'll finish off the video. It takes him a while because he's really busy. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. So what I did, my final steps on this uh, on this shoe right here, on this boot right here, um, I used the uh, leather conditioner. Uh, remember, this got a little bit of wax in it. Um, so it kind of give you kind of a sheen. Um, so I'm building a layer. I don't know if you notice. I, I'm starting to build layers and layers and layers. So eventually, um, you got to get a decent shine um, without using a wax. I, again, I may use a wax later, but um, this has not had. This is just the cream, and this is the cream after it dried, and I used the leather, the leather conditioner on it. So uh, and then I add. A, remember before I had this uh, rawhide. Um, uh, shoelaces and I went with a, uh, a f kind of a, a poly uh, shoelace a, bra a bra braided uh, shoelace um, so as you can see there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I do with this product now this this product I use very little of um, so may maybe two coats um, this only have one coat on it but uh, I'm going to finish it uh, when I get it back from the cobbler. So I'm gonna put one coat of this and I use very little of it. Like a dot and maybe a dot. You know, and just use my finger and just rub it in. You know. And let it absorb. I'll just do one portion of it. Hit the, uh, the toe box. Uh, it might be a little too much. A little bit on the last. The tongue. It doesn't take long. Just prepping for the footage. The, the video footage takes a little longer. I have such an issue doing things. See, just a few dots it takes a little, it goes a long way. You know, just a little bit of this stuff goes a long, long way. Now, the toe and the last is more pliable, it's more supple than the uh, side of the shoe here. the shaft because it doesn't get bent so it stays stiffer than the, uh, the toe box doesn't really bend it's just the last part right here and then where the tongue comes down to the uh, for the front end all right, so with that, I think I'm done with the lotion. I mean, with the with the leather leather conditioner, right? I'm gonna use a brush while it's still a little damp, and that'll get into the like I said before, it'll get it into the little crevices that uh, my finger couldn't get it in, couldn't get the lo the the conditioner into, or the lotion. Put on the string, a lace. And get it to the cobbler. So hopefully in a week, for you guys, it'll be seconds. If he's not too busy. Sometimes it takes two weeks, but... Uh, He's never took two weeks 
on any any one of my footwear projects so footwear needs all right so it looks pretty decent um, this on real fast for you I thought about getting a, a flat lace and wax it myself like cotton wax But these are for me. All my sh footwear are for me, not for anyone. So uh, this is a little tighter than this, but the, let me see here. And then most likely I'm gonna undo it, take the take the tree out and take it to him because I don't want him to lose the tree. And that is pretty much it. Things look a little bit better than uh, when I got started. Doesn't take long. God, these are beautiful. Look at that. All right, just a few simple stuff, real inexpensive stuff, uh, inexpensive product, and uh, this is what you get. Um, like I said, fix the bottom. I check this one out. All right, see, you gotta get that fixed. All right, show you the end of the product later. Okay, guys. So uh, those uh, those boots. Um, those boots are at the uh, cobbler. I'm going to make my own uh, shoe polish. And so what quickly, so what I have here is some shaving, uh, real fine shavings, like little chocolate shavings that uh, you see folks do on uh, television. So what I, I'm doing is I'm, sh I'm shaving the uh, paraffin wax and beeswax that I had uh, in the past made uh, a fixing wax for uh, waterproofing of coats and etc. So I'm going to use roughly five parts oil and roughly, extremely roughly, five parts oil and uh, maybe two one part wax. Uh, I think I think two parts wax. I'm going to give that a try. I'm not going to do very much of it. It's all going to be uh, I'm gonna eye it. So I'm gonna use an old uh, glass jar. Um, I don't know how big this thing is. Let me let me see if I can get the uh, the measurement for you. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna put I put the wax into this jar, and I'm gonna use a combination of coconut and olive oil. And uh, the jar is from. Look like it's a seven and a half ounce uh, old jar of mushroom that I uh, I used. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on it, and instead of hitting it and what have you, yeah, I'm just gonna cover it. Uh, and then I'll play I'll play it by ear uh, or by eye. All right. So I'm gonna take this. Put the lid on it and just gonna let it sit out in the sun and let the sun melt it. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, um, maybe just a little more wax. And then as it's thickened, you can add or you can add additional oil or wax. I'm gonna cut myself. All right, so I'm just gonna let this sit. Uh, like I said, this is a combination of beeswax, uh, paraffin wax, which is from a candle. Um, and a little bit of oil, and I use this to, like I said, waterproof my uh, oil canvas. All right, I'm gonna put you on hold a second, and I'm gonna take you, take this and put it outside. I got some soap melting outside too, homemade soap. All right. Okay, just like that, um, I'm having it. I have it. I'm putting it in the uh, direct sun. Um, and uh, by the end of the day, it should be all melted, and I'll stir it in, and uh, I'll let it harden up, and uh, I'm going to polish a, a pair of shoes with it. Stay hey, so tuned. Hey guys, so as you can see, the sun has melted the, uh, the wax. 
and the oil together and I put it in the shade for a little bit and it has a consistency of a um, of a polish now and it's a neutral polish so I'm going to use this on uh, on the boot on the boots as soon as uh, I get it back from the cobbler all right guys so uh, I got these back from the uh, cobbler roughly about an hour ago and I took it to them on 527 and it's due back today which is a week plus one day of course that was that's a Wednesday so today's Thursday it's due back to me on Thursday um, so there it is um, so here is the uh, Here's the price, $65 plus tax, so it's $70.30. Okay, so this, I'll share with you what he did for $70.30. So these are, these are roughly, if you buy them new right now, they're about $800 uh, from, from Alden's, right? Um, but, you know, with Alden's, you get the, you get the double oak sole and leather, etc. right? Uh, these are... Gosh, these are a lot older, right? So, uh, another name for the uh, the uh, chukas is a desert boot. Um, so I returned it. I turned it into a uh, desert-like boot, right? So, so we put in the uh, the Vabram uh, sole. Uh, what he did is he uh, he removed the uh, the bottom layer of the double oak they were thin anyways and he added a new uh, heel he had a heel that fits um, so he had to take the inside out and the inside the insole uh, cushion out and uh, nail glued and then nail cement and then nailed in the uh, you can see some of the nails in there nailed in the heel so he did an amazing job for uh, he did an amazing job for uh, you know 70 bucks as you can see here new stitching all the way around he removed the old stitching uh, he, he he mashed it up pretty good you know you get some cobblers that that will miss the uh, the original uh, stitch line uh, but he did a uh, an amazing job and he kept it pretty he kept the stitches pretty pretty tight um, it is still a uh, I don't know, I guess you can still call this now a 360 Goodyear welted boot um, because it is all the way around, you know. But uh, I did that too, of course, you know, the other one also. It did an amazing job. So now I really have a true desert boot. All right, kind of, I was kind of impressed with them. Um, you saw part of the video. The wax is done. Looks pretty amazing. Um, you know, you hear me say in other videos. This again, you know, this is bee wax, uh, paraffin wax, avocado oil, um, and coconut oil. Uh, you know, just really, really amazing stuff. And it's also great on nails and skins and uh, lips and stuff. But I put up, I'm, I'm put a layer on this and buff it out. But you guys really don't need to see that. I just want to end. And this video of, uh, to show you uh, how I uh, kind of bring these things back. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys.